just found out you or a loved one have ovirus syndrome? Let's talk about what that means. A typical women's anatomy includes two kidneys with one uterus and a vagina. But then there's obstructed hemivagina and ipsilateral renal agenesis, otherwise known as ovirus syndrome. Let's break this down. Hemivagina means that the vagina is split into two sides by a septum. An obstructed hemivagina specifies that the septum is blocking off one vagina. Next, renal is the medical term for kidney, ipsilateral means one side, and agenesis means missing. Another aspect of this syndrome is that instead of one uterus, you have what is called a didelphic uterus. This means that you have two separate uteri, each connected to one ovary and one side of the vagina. This happens due to a malarian duct anomaly. The malarian ducts are fetal organs that form the female reproductive organs. They first meet and fuse at eight weeks of development and are typically fully connected at 12 weeks of development. An anomaly occurs when this process is interrupted in any of these stages, whether the ducts don't join at all or the walls between them do not reabsorb. In ovirus syndrome, the two ducts never join together and each individually attach to the newly forming vagina. The solitary kidney may be discovered during fetal ultrasounds and shouldn't cause any problems as humans actually only need one kidney to survive. In fact, nearly one out of every 2,000 people are born with only one kidney. The didelphic uterus may not cause any issues by itself either. Interestingly enough, some women without a blockage do not find out that they have two uteri until normal pregnancy ultrasounds. The other aspect of this condition, the blockage, isn't an issue until after the first few periods, when menstrual blood builds up and begins to backflow through the fallopian tubes, stretching and distorting them. As you can imagine, this causes intense pain and usually leads to a doctor ordering imaging such as an MRI or ultrasound. Symptoms can include increasingly painful periods, palpable pelvic, vaginal, and abdominal masses, irregular spotting and discharge, fever, and vomiting. Oftentimes, symptoms differ from women to women depending on the severity of the blockage and the amount of blood built up in the vagina. The treatment of choice is to surgically remove the septum in the vagina, allowing the built-up blood to drain. For most women, this procedure is sufficient to relieve their symptoms. Unfortunately, women with ovirus syndrome are more likely to have endometriosis, fertility issues, and premature delivery. However, early intervention may decrease the risk of long-term damage to reproductive organs. So. For young girls with a solitary kidney, the possibility of ovirus syndrome should not be overlooked.